Hello everybody! Welcome in to the Purple Penguin Crafter. I am Vicki. Uh, today's craft is going to be a metal bunny. We're going to make a metal bunny. Uh, this is from a metal stake uh, from Dollar Tree. So I'm going to show you how I put mine together and uh, so you can make your own. <laughs> Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, do all the things. Uh, it definitely helps me out and uh, we're just going to jump right in and get started. Okay. We're going to start with our surface. Um, this was actually a gifted surface. Um, I don't recall who gifted it to me, but um, I get things gifted all the time. Um, it is cork on one side and just wood on the other. So it is kind of like interchangeable. If you want to do a two-sided project, you could definitely do that. Um, it's got this nice little um, hanger on it. I kind of like that. Uh, we're going to leave that actually. And we're just going to go ahead, we're just going to use the back, or the wood part of it. Um, we're going to go ahead and stain it. Um, I think we're going to antique wax stain it, and uh, maybe paint the, the border, but I uh, haven't decided on that yet. Um, we might not do that. So we're just going to take our damp baby cloth. This should be a nice smooth surface, so you shouldn't have to, oh, I shouldn't have to worry about uh splinters on this one. Um, we're just bringing in the antique wax, just Waverly, or you could do just regular stain, totally up to you. I'm going to try and get in as much as I can here. I might have to get my paintbrush and help get in these corners here. Oh, maybe not. Just stick the baby wipe in there further. Okay, so we've done all this. Uh, we're going to let this dry a little bit because it was a damp baby cloth. So we're just going to set that just up there for just a minute. We're going to work on our bunny for just a second. got to take him apart. So he's called a bunny steak. Um, and that's just because he was meant for outside, apparently. Um, we're using him inside, though, so it's okay. Uh, this was from the Dollar Tree. Um, obviously, we don't need this portion of it. Let's see if I can just roll it off. Sometimes you can get lucky and these will just come right off. And he has a little bit, but he's kind of tearing. That's okay. Okay, so we got that off. Alright, so he's got a little bit of a gap issue, but that's okay. That's fine. We'll uh, we'll cover that up. And then he doesn't need his little bow tie because we are going to give him his own bow tie. So we're going to take our tin snips here. Just cut them off. See if I can get that with my uh, needle nose pliers here. Well, if anything, I just want to get it to where I can be my way. We can cover that up with the with the actual bow that we are going to put on the bunny. Try and get this on. Okay, there we go. Careful, it is metal. It probably is, yeah, it's a little sharp. Just gotta be careful. That's okay. Uh, the other things we're going to take off, we're going to take off these. We don't need these either. Get them off with our tin snips here. Again, any of these pieces that like won't come off, you don't necessarily have to take them off. You can do what uh, the same technique that I'm going to be doing um, and actually like Put it over what we're doing, but it, you'll you'll see that when uh, when it gets to that point. They are not needed. You can, like I said, you can totally leave these too. That's not a huge necessity to take them off. a little safer if you leave them on, but um, I wanted to. 
I'm obsessed with wanting to take them off. Okay, so that parts are going to stick out a little bit. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Let's pull his arms up a little bit. I kind of like his arms. That's awesome. Okay. So, our bunny friend now is going to get a paint job. We're just going to paint him um, with the Waverly chalk paint. Uh, and this, I believe, is ivory. Ivory. So it's not the white. Um, it's just an off-white. And um, the reason I'm doing the chalk paint is because he's metal. So metal and chalk paint usually go better together. Now we're just going to paint his whole thing. And then we're going to come back and paint his details. We'll come back somewhat. Um, but uh, we'll do that in acrylic paint. The pink. Uh -uh. I'm a huge fan of the fact that he had little pink on his paws. That's kind of weird. I don't think I'm going to need two coats, but I might do two coats of paint. So I, I did end up putting um, two coats of paint uh, just because it, it just felt like it needed a little bit more, um, which is totally fine. Um, so now we're going to take our bunny and kind of put a little more detail on him, <clears throat> starting with his eyes. So we're just going to use regular black, it's just regular black acrylic paint, nothing special. It just literally says black. It's okay. And for me, we've already got this raised portion that's supposed to be his eyes. So I'm just going to kind of stick to that. Although when they did it, they just had a little, you know, a little beady eye. So this one, he's going to get bigger eyes. I'm trying to stay in the lines here. <laughs> She's a big I like it. It's cute. All right. And then the rest of him. It's a little bit more fun. Um, for his nose and his cheeks, we're going to, I know his, his his cheeks kind of already poof out a little bit uh, with, with it being metal. Um, you can see they kind of stick out a little. Um, I thought it would be even cuter. We use pom-poms <laughs> for his, for that. So we're going to use pom-poms. Um, we're going to go ahead and bring in our tacky glue. Um, I think that will work a little bit better with this. Tacky glue them on there. Uh, the size of these pom-poms is a uh, half an inch. 0.5 inch is these guys. Then I also, well, he needs a little nose, right? How about a little pink nose for our bunny? And these are little, like, almost like an eighth of an inch. Little, what a pink nose. Is he got a pink nose? Already so cute. Makes him even cuter. All right. Now, um, so I'm gonna I'm not gonna do any more with his mouth. We're gonna leave all of that. 
Um, I do want to give him a slight um, little dot in his eye. I usually do that with white. He needs a little, little highlight in his eye. I like to give all my animals little highlights. There we go. Now we've got the highlights in these eyes. Super cute. Um, we'll give him a little, maybe a little pink in his ears. This ear kind of flops over, and we kind of need a little, we need a little bit of a, like a shadow or something going on there. Um, let's do the pink first. Uh, I was kind of leaning for something really light. Um, uh, so this is, um, cotton candy. Cotton candy color. It's pretty light pink. But we want to just kind of dry brush it a little bit on here. I don't want to do, like, crazy amounts or anything. I don't want anything too heavy or solid here. I'll take that. And then I want a little bit of a shadowing there. Um, you can do that with the antique wax, I think. Um, this fish, I think. There you go. Just give it a little bit of shadow. That actually looks really good. I like how that turned out. Okay. That's what we need for the top skin. Um, does need a bow. I want to get him, before I do much more, um, we were, we're done with that. Before we do much more with that, let's get him on our board. Let's put him back on the board that we did. Um, now, the trick is I'll put them to stay on there. I might have to adjust those. I should have done this first. Um, now, his body kind of caves up. Um, so, he, so, so he kind of bubbles. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to take some Jenga blocks and pop a couple in here. Um, because that way uh, it makes it easier for us to get him to stick to our board here. So, and the catch with metal, again, we're going to use the E6000. So it looks like this, E6000. <laughs> Obviously it doesn't look like that anymore because this is the big one. Um, but that's what we're going to use. I prefer E6000 uh, when using metal. It's highly recommended. Now, to get him on the board portion, we're going to take our tacky glue for the wood on wood here. Now, let's 
see about getting everything to stay. I feel like everything's going to be moving all over the place. Especially that one. was not the best idea here. This one needs more blue. Right, there we go. Okay, so that looks better. He's gonna need to some dry time, set up time there, but we'll let him do his thing. But we can still do other things around him. So I want to bring back his little carrots. I like the fact that he was holding his little carrots, um, but we're gonna make ours stand out a little bit more. So. These are felt carrots. Uh, they're called felt sticker carrots. They're from um, Hobby Lobby. Um, but we're going to just take the off these little stickers because these are kind of pointless little stickers, really. They are not going to hold much anything. But I like these little felt, and they come with little shadowing already and the little things. Um, I love that. So. I'm gonna stick them like he was holding them before. I think so. Perfect. And that's why I wanted to paint over um, the ones that were here because they weren't gonna match up. My new ones, and these look so much better. And he kind of looks a little naked right here, right? So I want to give him a bow. And I found this really cute ribbon um, Dollar Tree. Um, it's got carrots on it. How cute is that? So we're going to give him a little carrot bow. Just a basic little carrot bow. The loops always end up bigger when you hold the middle and you pull them back in. give him a little bit of an oversized bow a little bit there. Cute. Way it kind of takes up some of his uh, space a little bit there. But you can tell they're carrots, that's cute. I like that. Alright, there's his character bow. 
so cute. All right, last thing, I kind of want to make it look like he's sitting in grass, right? We kind of, we like that look. Um, even up a lot of this uh, green Spanish moss lately, but that's okay. Totally love it. But before I do this, um, I was kind of thinking, I want to do a white frame. I think we need we need more on the uh, white frame. Um, hold that thought, folks. We are going to bring back in just because I have it here. I think. Okay, I like that better. Wanted to give some definition between the two woods because you can only see wood color. There we go. Much better. And I just did the top. I didn't do the sides or anything like that, so we'll just leave it like that. It's totally fine. I like it like that. Now, again, let's get this. Get the Spanish moss going here. See if I can get just small amounts of it. <laughs> we don't want to get anything too crazy, crazy. And then we'll probably give it a haircut too. Perfect. I love how that looks. And then <clears throat> I was thinking, a uh, final touch. What if I'm a little Easter egg? Easter eggs down here in the bottom. And then I also have, I have this. That I got um, from Hobby Lobby, I believe it had it had Easter, it had hop, and it had jelly bean um, as the three words in the word word pack. Um, it's kind of cute, but I think I might just leave it by himself. I, think I might just leave him by himself. Um, but you could definitely this would be super cute if you did something like that. Easter kind of celebration there. That's pretty cute. All right, you guys. That's all I've got for today. Uh, definitely keep on coming back and see more uh, projects here at the Purple Penguin Craft Room. And happy crafting. <laughs>